Hey everyone, it's Hydro Pump here. I am back uh, in today's video. Just gonna be going over the replays where I played that 60 car crazy light sworn deck in uh, I'm Nerd, um, the I'm Nerd podcast, you know, Patreon tournament they had. Um, so if you didn't see the deck profile in my last video, uh, go check that out and you'll be able to see the whole deck list and what I thought of the cards and maybe changes I would make. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna go through the replays here. Uh, I don't remember all the details exactly of what happened because it's been about a week now. But just like looking at the the you know opening hands, I'm playing his Vayu Turbo here. Uh, he goes turn one, set dust and oppression. He has Kaya, Solar Brain, so he has a pretty solid setup. And I open Cold Wave, Celestia Charge, Light Swarm Barrier. And for those that don't know, it's a continuous trap. And it says, um, when a Light Swarm monster you control is targeted for an attack, you can set the top two cards of your deck to the grave. Then the targeting, the the attack target, or pretty much like you negate the attack. And uh, so that's kind of like stalls and then Lila and then Glorious Illusion. So pretty good setup here. I think I made a bad play. Like I made it like a really risky play. Um, I think I went like to get Lumina and then summon Lumina, which obviously plays really hard to oppression. So yeah, that was bad. So right off the bat, I'm down two cards, not looking great. So I set two, he does. Um, doesn't really find anything. He doesn't have a play because I don't have a monster on the board. And I find Judgment Dragon. And I got three names in Grave. So I think I just passed. Yep. And we find Lila. Lila's, I think I popped the uh, Deep Prison because I don't really care about the oppression because I got Cold Wave as long as I mill another name. It'll be good. And then I have the Light Storm Barrier and Celestia. So I have like a really good follow up here. Can't run over my Lila. But he's probably going to go like. I think he goes Kai's here, probably. Yeah. Don't so Kai's, finish that. But I was able to hit um, two more names, Raiko, or just one more. I hit Raiko. So I have four names in Grave, which is pretty good. And we're going to go Cold Wave JD here. And summon Honest, Poke. And I think that's going to be it. I don't think he draws anything here. We milled a wolf, and he drew a plague spray. So yeah, that's it. On to the next game. I just remember this guy got destroyed, because uh, I have a pretty cool side card. Yeah, side in shiny black sea uh, against Vayu Turbo, and it's pretty good against like zombies too. And pretty much, they're near the player's turn when a synchro. Exactly one synchro monster is special summon from your opponent, or for your opponent. You can banish this card from your grave and pretty much destroy that. So it's pretty much good against any synchro that's not Stardust Dragon. So we open a Solar Recharge into Charge, you know, 60 card combo. Now I get Lumina, get Arcuus, and just so you can't like go right go pop here. He can only mill. Uh, don't really think there's anything else that was good considering. I was thought, I think maybe playing like a second Garoth would maybe, maybe be good, just so you can like get some more draws going. And he mills a Necrogard now. And he has like not a great hand. And we milled a second shiny black sea. And we got wolf. And he drew a grapher, which is a really nice draw. And we're just gonna keep Lumina in the loop here. And he passes. And I'm just going for it here. And I feed comedian set. And pretty much if I get called the the coin flip right, whatever I said it was. Uh, so I think I called heads here, which is laying on tail. So if it were to lay on heads, his whole grave would get banished. Now I'm doing that on the end phase, so he, I can go for game with a uh, play through like Necrogarden. 
Uh, but I'm gonna end up. I got it wrong, so I'm gonna mill eight cards. I didn't mill anything crazy, but yeah. And I can't do. Unfortunately, I can't Lumina effect because that Arceus is still on the field. I was considering tributing Arceus for Celestia, but then I wouldn't get. I don't think I can mill, and I can't pop anything, obviously. So if he has gore, I just play it kind of safe, like he has scores, and then I could do that and then summon for Lumina. I think I just set the Necro Garden here because not much else you're going to do with it. Two, three. So we milled Plague Spider, which is nice. Are we getting night? So yeah. He's going to go Armed Wing here, which would normally be pretty decent, but we have Shiny Black Sea, so it's just going to pop that. And we're just going to let Lumina die. And he goes, I guess he thought this was Raikou. Um, I still technically have one Raikou left, so this is a decent read. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be a wrap here. It's kind of like a desperation play there. And yep, so we stacked in Necrogarna and then milled it with Celestia. So, And that is going to be uh, pretty good. So that was a really good showing against Vayu Turbo on what this deck can do. And next we're playing is Dominique Roberts. Um, he's on his Machina Plant deck, which is also on more than 40 cards. So we're kind of we're out here vibing. I had card destruction in the main deck, uh, just to maybe try to combo it with Fink Medium, but I don't think it's probably worth it. Um. So we're able to mill a wolf, and we have hamster set, T roar. So we have a pretty nice setup. He's gonna run into the hamster. We're gonna get Raiko, which is pretty ideal because we have Celestia in hand. We're gonna chase the back row, which is torrential. Now. Trying to think why it did. Oh, I have JD. So I'm going to get JD next turn. So let's get those names in the grave. We're just going to run over these tokens. And we're going to mill six. He has Lone Fire. Get into Giga Plant, which is all fine. Giga Plant's going to get its effect. Get Copy Plant and go to the Power Tool and kind of just do the same thing. Going to go into a level eight, start dragon. So that's going to play around Judgment Dragon. Oh, we have the Life Swarm Barrier, so it's going to build some cards. Then we can make a uh, Miss Worm and bounce this board here. And we don't want to target the Machine of Fortress just because he can, uh, you know, obviously rip the Judgment Dragon. All right, so we're gonna go JD, blow up the field. I'm just gonna attack directly because we know his one card in hand's Giga Plant. He didn't draw anything, so we're just gonna swing again. Mill four, we got Wolf, and that'll be uh, game one. So another good showing for the Light Sworn deck. He goes charged and mills Plague, which is nice. It says Danny Lion. Go swing. And we set the Threatening Roar. That's because he's probably going to go like the Breed Dragon play here. If he's setting Dandelion, turn one. He goes Power Tool. Now this field's kind of locked, so that's interesting. If I had a. Uh, It'd be really nice if I had the uh, Light Swarm Barrier here. Just so he can't, he can't do anything with all these tokens on the field, which is funny. Uh, so yeah, he's just, you know, popping off here. 
Oh, we, you said you couldn't make the uh, powerful dragon, so that's what happened there. Obviously. So yeah, it kind of changed the situation there. It's probably better off, better for him because then his field's not full of tokens. And he's just gonna make Stardust, or no, he makes this uh, Drago guy. And then we drew into Judgment Dragon, which is live currently. We're just gonna attack over the Stardust and you know, blow up the field. Then we'll snook again. Uh, but he has a follow up Black Rose, which is pretty nice. And now I suddenly don't have a whole lot going on here. And we don't want to summon Cyber Dragon because in case he can summon Fortress, and then that'll be bad. So we're just kind of waiting for him to throw a Machine of Fortress out there. And he top decks uh, Pi Avarice, which is pretty good. I think I end up drawing the second wolf here, if I recall. Yeah, so he's kind of popping off here. I think I get the nice Khmer Tech play here. This might buy his shield been nice a couple turns ago when I had JD, but not the case. So we have a 3k Khmer Tech, and he has Gores, and I think, yeah, that's going to be game. I didn't have anything to, you know, I was too low on life and didn't have anything to protect Khmer Tech. Alrighty, so we're going first here. We have double life form barrier, hamster, arcuus, judgment dragon, and Graganeth. And he has lone fire, fortress, titanial, Caius, Danny Lion. So he's just kind of going in. This would have been a great time to have like Cyber Dragon in my hand. Um, so what happens here? So I tribute summon Graganeth. And he is, I think he's at 3000 attack or so. And we just set the life form barrier and pass. We're at three names. So we don't really have anything to put us on four right now. And we mill two, mill double glorious illusion. I guess, uh, I mean, I should have set the second life form barrier, but he also, he just, I just ran over a Danny Lion, so I didn't want to, like, full commit into, like, a Black Rose. And... So now I'm just kind of staring at Kai, so I can set these two again. Which, uh, might happen. Oh, I have, no, I have four names, okay. So we just run over the Kaius. Didn't want to pop the field, because then I'll lose Wolf. <laughs> he goes Mark of the Rose. I just I don't have anything to protect from that. Oh, okay. He goes this play instead because I guess he knows I probably have Back in the Light set. So now we go Back in the Light. And I think this is when the game is kind of weird where we just kind of go into like a stall fest. Get the Light Swarm Barrier. They make Stardust Dragon. Now I can't use this Lumina to bring anything back. And right now, I like having something big to get with Stardust Dragon would be really nice. He's just kind of going in. Just making me mill a lot. Which is kind of funny. Notice I'm with Lumina to get some mills. Now, just trying to see like what my like what's the win con here. I think uh, 
Oh, I'm just trying to find JD. So this is where like a situation where Garoth would be really good. Just you're like, kind of like in the stall mode where you know you have Arcuus, Slicewarm, or Lumina and Barrier. If I like, if I drew a Garoth or I just like was able to re reborn it with Lumina somehow, that'd be really good because then I'll be getting draws in the process of just sitting here where we both kind of stalemating. So we mill Wolf and. Um, yeah, we're just kind of sitting here. I don't think I milled anything too important there. Obviously, I lost both Cyber Dragons, so it just stinks. It'll be pretty good here. It makes a second Stardust Dragon. And I milled both Honest now. So, Honest would have been nice to have, too. Oh, yeah, I was looking for Plague Spreader for the longest time. I could not find Plague Spreader. If I found Plague Spreader, like... Any of these turns, it would have been like absolutely insane. It actually, would have been game. So I milled here off now, and the second JD. So that was another card I was looking for. Is just JD. Okay, I finally milled the plague spreader, but then he truly summons for Titanium. Like, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! So. This is a really tough spot. Um, I only have three cards left in deck. Uh, I can't miss Worm now because Titanial's just sitting there. So that's kind of like all I was digging for. I was digging for Miss Worm, and now I just can't miss Worm. And I can't Brionic. Uh, we go for Colossal Fighter here, but I just don't think it does anything. So I lost the match there, um, pretty much lost, I guess me if I had milled Plaguesburg like a couple turns before it would have been okay. Uh, I played three Beckoning Light and two Monster Reincarnation and I milled them all, well other than the one Beckoning Light. So maybe like a third Monster Reincarnation would be good in this kind of list or maybe a second Garoth just to get some mills or, or draws. Yeah, that was kind of like a weird game. And again, I didn't really have much testing with this deck beforehand, so I haven't really figured out the ratios yet. But this is a good example of just trying to, you know, figure out what works and doesn't work. And also, I couldn't, you know, pop anything with Stardust on the field. So kind of an unfortunate loss. But uh, yeah, on to the next one. So we're in the loser's bracket now against Stango. And he is on, I think he's on Diva Hero Beat. And we just set the hamster. Uh, no reason to really set anything else here. He's gonna go. This. Yeah, hamster's kind of crazy here. Just get Ryko. You can't really. I guess you can set these, but doesn't really do a whole lot. We hit the wing blast, and he has two oceans, so he can ditch the one. And yeah, so Ryko's gonna stack itself and then our get stacked because of wind blast and they're just gonna mill it so I guess he kinda took one mill off my board. We're just gonna set another hamster. Goes E call here, which is fine. Just gonna run over that and then we have another hamster. We're gonna pop the alias and we just we just milled two more names for Judgment Dragon so we're just gonna go swing swing. Now we can set the T Roar and Fiend Comedian. So T Roar is going to be here, pretty nice here, just so you can't honest run over JD. And then Fiend Comedian is just really nice if he has a uh, absolute zero on the way. So yeah, we're just going to T Roar this, and then he's just going to scoop because I guess he can't really deal with the Judgment Dragon. His hand was full of monsters, so another nice show for the Lice Worn deck. Now he has uh, Fossil Diet. Now, Grandma was kind of the bane of my existence this game, and my hand's not that great. So, I was just trying to bail out like a Gemini Spark or something, but uh, his hand can't really deal with that at the moment, so. Now, uh, something like T Roar might have been nice here. But we did not have that. And the reason I kept this in just to, you know, stop if he's like 
trying to loop alias or something or miracle fusion it could be okay by end up opening both so maybe fiend comedian isn't the best here life swarm barrier would be really nice here but he has gemini spark also so and i can't really set the hamster because obviously he has the uh gray mole and i try to reborn the celestia to so I can get somewhere, but he Gemini sparks it. And he sets Mirror Force, Bottomless. Uh, so we go to Monster Reincarnation, try to get, I think we get Cyber Dragon. And he bombs it again, so now I'm just kind of. I know he has Grand Mole, so I'm just kind of stuck here. And I was just trying to see if I can mill like a Necro Garden because I'm in a pretty desperate situation. I get the mill effect, but no Necrogarda, which isn't very likely anyways. We're just gonna get beat down by Grand Mole. So we got, we, this game we pretty much got soloed by Grand Mole, which is pretty good against Hamster. And we just set Hamster here, pretty good again. It's nice when, you know, Grand Mole was really good when he went first because he had a yeah, I think he had Alias on board, so he already had a monster that you can just beat down with. But Grandma's not nearly as good going second, because, I mean, I guess it's good for stalling. It's better than the alternative, but you don't have a monster to, like, put pressure on with that. So, Hamster, get Raiko. We're just going to leave the Raiko set for when he, like, commits something, and we go J and beat over Stratos, which is, uh, really nice. I think I set the Fiend Comedian here. In case he goes like desperation miracle fusion <laughs> and we mill wolf which is pretty good so here goes with the desperation miracle fusion be comedian so like yeah if i get it right here he just gets blown out but we get it wrong we only mill one which was honest so not a great mill um now i could decide not to pop the absolute zero but i don't really have a good way to deal with it at the moment so we're just gonna get out of the way we're gonna lose our board in the process but kind of unfortunate and here i think we just you know set the right go he goes ocean we're just gonna pop the ocean just so we don't have to worry about him i guess grab anything back and we have my body as a shield to play through back row so that's pretty nice we have a wolf again And we just swing. Gonna get deep prison, and we don't really care about names because we're good on names. Uh, maybe I don't. I don't know. Maybe we could have kept the Raiko in hand in case we drew a soul recharge, but uh, you know, what are the chances of that? He drew Grand Mole, which is fine. Then I drew Judgment Dragon, which is very nice. Now, I'm well aware that he probably has a Starlight Road, considering he has four back row, Starlight Road or Judgment Dragon. So here I go Heavy Storm, and then I summon Judgment Dragon. Uh, we'll just let it play out here. So you get Stardust. Now I'm going to go summon Judgment Dragon Priority. If he also has Solemn Judgment here, that kind of sucks, but you know, we have Gorse back up too, which is okay. But he also has a Grand Mole, so a little scary. Um, so he goes Stardust Negate, I'm going to go Mind Body as a shield. Now, I guess he could, he could activate Bottomless Trap Hole as Chain Link 4, because 1, 2, 3, 4, because it's still, like, in the same, um, summoning window, but I guess he just forgot about that. Which I'm, uh, I'm okay with. So we're going to go Swing Swing, Mill 4. And there was pretty much no coming back from that. Um, trying to see if it would have mattered if, like I say, you did balance this. I'm still, I'm four to his three cards, or technically four to his two cards. Um, so I would have milled these three. I would have drawn the Plague Spreader. You would have ran over Card Trooper. So maybe I could have stalled a little bit, but I had Gord, so that's just like a nice card to have. But I'm also out of Judgment Dragon, so I'd probably have to hit like a Beckoning Light here or something, but I think overall I could have probably 
grind it out in one, but if you did bombless, but you know, kind of hard to tell. Anyways, we win that one, and we're going against Enraged Peacock. And all, again, all these people are Patreon members to the I Am Nerd podcast, so, and they're able to play in this tournament for like a little cash prize, so I managed to win $25 for getting second in this little run. So we opened Solar Recharge, and we're playing against Hero Frogs. I think his, uh, his Hero Frog list was a little interesting. It's a little heavier on the Monarchs, from what I remember. So nothing really crazy with the mills so far. Uh, I decided to keep Aaron for when he just kind of throws the guy out there like a treeborn frog. So I just kind of want to keep this hidden for now. And then Lila is, you know, he's not going to really be setting back row anytime soon. And I guess if you put two Lila's out there, it makes it so where he can't, like, he can't clear one and then set mirror force. So we just kind of, I think he faders here. No, no, no fader. And then we gold Sark for a judgment dragon. Gold Sark, like normally I'm not a fan of gold Sark because like it puts a lot of pressure on you, but like with a build that can stall with this with T Roars and Ice Form Barriers and whatnot, like it's really nice. Uh because you know helps you find that you know judgment dragon or whatever you need in 60 cards. But it also lets you having these cards, these support cards, like let you, you know, stall to get that gold sark resolved, so makes it even more deadly. Uh, I go junk here. I think he does like a black rose player. Or... Taster. Yeah, he's just kind of going all in. And I go T roar thing. Oh no, I just let it die. I think my thought process here was to like you know T roaring there wouldn't really do anything. I, I guess I would get six more mills. Try to hopefully get something, but uh, my thought process was to go, you know, have hamster resolve, get Raiko, and then Raiko pop absolute zero. Then Judgment Dragon can walk the uh, next turn. Uh, but I was gonna lose T Roy here, so I decided to just like go against that, I guess. So I think I just have to summon Judgment Dragon. Maybe it was better to just let the hamster live. Or just not T-Roar. I'm just gonna go Honest Poke, but you know, he doesn't have much and I don't have much either. I drew another hamster, so we're just gonna go swing again. I think I'm out of uh, Reiko's. I guess this is not as good if he has a uh, a monarch play, but I'm just kind of I'm beating him down a little bit in this little grind thing. So I drew reincarnation was re really nice, and then uh, you know he didn't really scoop or anything, so he's just kind of chilling. And I was like, well, you can card destruction here, and if you know, if he draws Vader off this, then uh, I guess he got it. And he doesn't, so just go JD poke. I guess maybe like hindsight, I could have probably just let the the turn where you summon Unifrog. I could have just you know, let the hamster die, and then Raiko will pop the absolute zero. Probably what I should have done. I don't remember if I was that threat of taking a lot of damage that turn or not. Anyways, we're in uh, what's this? So this is game two. We open Fiend Comedian, which can be really nice. And we go Arceus, so he Arceus is really nice against the frog deck because they can't like summon Monarch Caius it. They have to, uh, you know, they pretty much like his whole hand can't do anything against Arceus right now. And Lila's gonna be really, n or well, trying to. Man, I just didn't want to play into Torrential. I should have summoned Lila here and popped. I think that's that might have been it. I just don't want to walk to like a torrential. 
Then we just summon Lila, but now he's going to go Monarch here. He has like a lot of Monarchs. I think he has multiple Rises too. So that was kind of annoying. So yeah, I think if I had just done Lila, Pop Mirror Force, I would have been like way better off in this game. <laughs> but I'm just getting Monarch trained right now. And I only have two names, which is not very good. We had all the names, but you know, got monarched. We got we got hit with three consecutive monarchs. So yeah, I think I should have done the Lila thing. Just be like, okay, screw it, PS rental, go for it. But if not, we're good. So we go Jane. Um, could have thrown Lila out there, but and then now he has the torrential, so it's like okay, maybe I should have summoned Lila first. Uh, he books it, and Aaron was really nice there. Goes heavy. Not entirely sure why he has heavy in this deck still, but I guess because he saw Mask get milled. And we go Gragondith here to beat over the Stratos, which is really nice. This guy's pretty beefy. I think he's about 3k, 3200. Not bad. We're going to mill a couple. We, <laughs> we have Double Wolf. So he doesn't really have access to Treeborns or Miracle Fusion, so he is. Uh, Kind of struggling. Now we just go beat down mode. I think it's just this game. Yep. Again, I don't really think burial's like good. Well, maybe burial's okay here because of the fiend comedian in case you get ruined by that, but that's kind of like. I don't know, you're kind of like hoping for me to do something in order for you to do something. So it's kind of kind of strange. Um, anyways, we beat the frog hero deck. Um, again, I think I could have won game two if I just had summon Lila, pop mirror force. Probably should, what I should have done. Alrighty, we are back again playing against Dominique Roberts. This one was a crazy match. Yet again. So we drew the Garoth and we're just gonna swing into Raiko. Again, I have an Arcus there woman like crazy. So we just said T Roar. And we're just gonna burn it. Again, card destruction card just kinda sucks in this deck. Not too great. Um I don't really have a whole lot going for me at this moment. Uh, we just re now. Okay, this is something I should have done. I should have. Uh, okay, so when he, the turn before when he was attacking, I had Raiko set at Glorious Illusion. I should have activated. Uh, uh, I think he. Well, yeah, he had Raiko. So maybe I should have done that. I should have set T Roar here. I should have set Roar and Glorious Illusion. So then I can go like Raiko Mill and then Garoth draw something. Potentially. So he goes Pi Avarice, which is fine. He just has a lot of cards right now. He goes Caius. I think this stays. Oh, when the monster leaves, you feel okay. We're just gonna like do the mill something. Hope we mill something. He goes for Titanial here, Mark of the Rose, which is just not good. We have the T Roar here, stay alive. Now this is an interesting situation. So I have I have two names in the grave. I drew Judgment Dragon, or no, I drew Monster Reincarnation. And I had Cold Wave Gores on hand. So I obviously I have to reincarnate Judgment Dragon here because I can't do it next turn. 
as a cold wave. So I have to hope I mill, you know, Jane has to die, and then I have to hope the mill like another name. So I don't, I don't hit a name here. Um, and then I, I gores, you know, it's, I gores on the Jane attack because there's no point of keeping around. Because my, my plan here is to judge my dragon or I just lose. So he's saying grow off with the Jane to make a taster. I guess that's going for game. Um, I drew Lila, so now I can go. <laughs> I have three names in grave, so now I can go Cold Wave. Um, then Lila, swing into Catastrophe, it's going to die. And then I have four names for Judgment Dragon. So, pretty cool sequencing there. We move the uh, Mill the Necrogard now. You can't activate Pot because I uh, have Cold Wave still, so. I drew Lumina. Um. I think I have to Judgment Dragon blow up here. In case it is a Reiko. We're just gonna run over both tokens so we don't get Kaiest. We milled seven. He goes Pi Avarice because we knew he still had that. He didn't really draw much. Which I think he had a lot of outs here. Like he could have drawn the like the re-dragons, but he just didn't find any of those. Um, brain control probably wins. Um, yeah, so. Pop the back row. Doesn't do anything. We're milling a lot of cards, so I milled, what, 11? In a normal Lightsworn deck, you wouldn't be able to do this. Like, you would just, like, you would have these monsters on the field for, like, one turn, and you're just like, okay, I have to win or lose here. Whereas if you're running 60 cards, it gives you, like, you know, 20 more cards of free real estate to mill. Now, okay, so this is the interesting thing. So if it's Reiko, so I was trying to decide if it's, like, Reiko or not. Um... Did he like side out Reiko? I don't know. <laughs> I have, you, yeah, I mean, this is still this is still game one, so we just haven't seen Reiko. Um, so I was considering mm, I could have done Mistworm, but then I'm stacking Celestia. I think I could, yeah, I could have done Mistworm. Uh, so I could have Mistworm his set monster and then go swing swing. Uh, that would have been game, but he has Gores, and then I can't Celestia, so I'd have to JD blow up. Or... So maybe that... No, oh, that might have been, like, the better play. Or I can, like, pop his back monster with Celestia and then swing, which I do, and I walk in the Gores, so I think... I had to blow that up, uh... I could do Brio, but that doesn't make a difference either. I don't know. It's just kind of like there was no. I think the best play actually just would have been like, considering this is Dandelion, just keep Lila and everything on the field and just swing with everything. And when he does Gore, summon Celestia. But I was just going for it here. Gotta make him have it, and he has it. So I'm like, uh, that's not good. And I think I just blow up the field anyways, just because this token's pretty big. I don't have Necrogarna to protect. In the wolf. Uh, he's able to get... So yeah, I only have six cards left in deck. So I have to... I can't go Judgment Dragon Swing and then Swing with Wolf. And I have to go Wolf Swing and then he has to pop Judgment Dragon, because otherwise he's going to lose. So I mill three, I have three cards left in deck. He goes tax over my Lila. Uh, I swing over his Lila. <laughs> Again, I think at any point where he draws like, yeah, he has like just so many engines going on in his deck. Like he's just drawing like 
one of everything. So he has like the plant stuff, he has the Gemini stuff, he has the the monarch, he has the machina, so. Alright, so I drew Arcus, which was just kinda like insane. It's gonna let me make Miss Worm here and this win the game. So yeah, I think I would win a, won a couple turns before where I just attacked with everything and then Celestia. That's probably what I should have done. Celestia did scores and then I wouldn't have to, you know, burn my JD. So yeah, he's going first, and now he has Raiko. Uh, I guess I, I don't know, it could have someone Necrogarn has throw it out there against Raiko, but now it's kind of like obviously Raiko. So now he's kind of, he is killing it with these Dandelion mills. Um, what happened here? Oh, you treated both tokens for a Titanial? Okay. So yeah, this is really good here. Now I, uh, I could have, I could have done like foolish mill some wolf, but I was like, you know, I think that's a torrential tribute set or potentially a torrential. So we go with token swing here to so. I mean, technically, I guess I should just swing with. I could have honest the token actually. It's something I could have done. I probably should have done that. <laughs> uh, but. Figured maybe honest would be worth keeping around. Probably should have just done that because that would have been like outrate game. Anyways, he goes like the play where he has Machina, Fortress, so he obviously has Force in hand. He foolishes that. And then I go Fiend Comedian. And I think it's the first time where I got the work in my favor. So where I advanced the Grave Effect. Obviously, the coin flip card, so I'm either milling eight or. Banishing his grave, and we banished the grave. So, and the rest of his hands pretty much dead because he doesn't have pot, pots on online, forces on online, supervises doesn't do anything. He just didn't have anything to summon for torrential either. So, my hand wasn't like crazy, but like Gores was kind of with the distance there, and I guess I could have won way earlier if I just honest over the Titanial. So, anyways, that's GG's there against. The machine plant deck. Now we're playing against Black Wings in the finals of this little tournament. Now I go solar recharge, ditch that, ditch that guy, and we set the Raiko. I don't think there's much else we could have really done there. Now here, I was kind of just considering, it's like, do I want to pop the Shura or do I pop the Whirlwind? But I was like, mm, well, I can Foolish for Wolf and then Summon Celestia pop Whirlwind anyway, so I'm going to keep him from something getting a value. But he has the Royal Oppression, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. And he has Double Acres set, so like he is just going full commit into like Heavy Storm here. Uh, oh yeah, I just milled Heavy Storm off the right so I guess he wasn't losing to that. Um, so. Then he's going to be able to summon some guys. So this game kind of spiraled out of control here. He has the Icarus attack. So this went pretty much ideally as possible uh, for him. I don't think I'd really draw anything to Get back into this game. I mean, Colway would have done it, but obviously we have a larger deck count, so it's less likely to see that. Could play something like Giant Trunade in this deck, but I don't know if that really fixes it. So we lose that game. Now this is probably like the best opening <laughs> hand I had like all game, or all like the whole tournament. So I'm able Necro Garden off the charge. Open charge, Solar Recharge, Lumina. We got Garoth and we're gonna milk uh ditch that and this Lumina back. Uh we have my visor shield in hand, so that's pretty nice. And we mill some stuff, we drew one off Garoth. He goes whirlwind, <laughs> he opened whirlwind again. Did the thing. Now 
I just saw the weird here. I maybe I, sh I guess I showed this honest here. Honest Deborah. Uh, but I did Necrogard and then Honest to Sirocco. But I think regardless, I had to Honest, right? So I guess I could have saved the Necro, but then you go like, okay, Sirocco attack over Garroth, which we probably don't care too much because we have Jane and Luna effect. So I should have saved the uh, Necrogard now. Probably what I should have done. Save the Necro and save it for another day. All right, so we have Garroth here with three Lice Formula uh, monsters. So we're gonna mill five, eight, plus six. So we're gonna mill 14 cards here. And believe it or not, off the three effects of Garroth, we did not mill any Lice Form monsters. So that was kind of crazy. Managed to mill the Plague. And uh, goes. Yo yo, he drew all oppression, so uh, he's gonna go go yo take. So that's why he did that. I'm just gonna miss the oppression and go miss worm for game. And that's game because I can bounce a Lila and summon it. So he opens the world one for the third game in a row, which is again crazy. He opens dust shoot. So he does use my Raiko. And we just go... So yeah, I still have a decent setup here. Like, I have Lila, Pop War 1. I just don't want to risk him having another clue, and then I'm just kind of you know, screwed. And then I, if he has Blizzard anyways, then... So we have uh, Light Swarm Barrier, Mill a couple. He, uh, he drew the Icarus attack, and I just missed on the snipe. If I'm... If I hit the Icarus attack, I'm actually sitting in a nice spot, but not the case. So, yep. So now I'm in a bad spot, because now I have Cold Wave, Heavy Storm, Wolf. And JD is not live. Actually, I milled a JD, so. So, yeah, this is uh, kind of like the state. I'm just going to Heavy Storm, because, you know, why not? Mill some. Goes alert here. Now, I'm not sure why you would just. You would think you would just have if I potentially have Gores. I mean, Gores doesn't go on, so. No real point in having with Gale because it was like such a little difference. Um. I felt like he could have done something else here. Maybe make Stardust or I don't know. But then he rips Darkon Dragon, so I was technically still in it because then I can go like Glorious Illusion for Lila or something. But JD is just, or uh, Darkon is just off the top, so it's going to end it there. So. Well, technically I'm still alive. I didn't make Stardust. Okay, then that was game. Anyways, uh, so I kind of got brutalized by Black Wings on the finals there, but um, yeah, overall the deck was pretty cool. There's a few tweaks and changes I would make, but I just wanted to show off the deck and good things and maybe bad things the deck can do. Again, like running 60 can like obviously lower your chances of like opening like recharge, charge combo, but you get some more leeway with your mills and stuff where you can may fit more like good mill cards in and uh good stall cards and just kind of helps your deck out a little bit more it makes it less clunky in a sense because you don't have to fit jam all these lights war monsters in and uh you know it might be something for the uh christus Warren to look into just so you don't have to smash these two engines in so tight into your deck and then you don't have like any room for anything so it's uh just it makes it a little clunky when you have these two massive engines and 40 cards and you have to some of them are good mill cards and some of them are good draw cards and if it goes the other way it's kind of messy so overall i think it ran pretty well i mean i think any deck is going to get ran through when black wings draws as well so uh anyways thanks for watching guys uh and i'll catch you in the next one